Hello everyone and welcome back to another J-Rock video. So this is going to be the first part in the series of transforming your lawn. So this is going to be the whole shebang. All right, so it's going to be everything from killing off the lawn to overseeding, aeration, scarification, what pre-seed fertilizer I'm using. Actually, in fact, the whole process, I'm going to be trying to use Total Loans product. They're kindly going to be sending me all the stuff over. So the seed, the pre-seed fertilizer, the fertilizers I'm then using afterwards. So that will all be through them. But starting off with today's product, it's going to be using Roundup. Okay, so this contains glyphosate. It's a non-selective herbicide. So this is going to be killing anything. So whether you put it between the cracks in your pavement, on your driveway, like on top of the truck chuckies to kill any weeds, on the lawn, it's going to be killing it. So that's what I'm going to go through today with it. With this, you need to be careful. If this has been opened and it's wet, you would not be putting it on the lawns, uh, as in even just resting it down, because it could kill off patches. So I'll stick that back on the slabs over there. So that's what I'm going to be going through just here, and the reasons why. Right then, so the back lawn is safe. That is not getting killed off. Soon to be, we're going to be getting a dog. And when we get that dog, it's a female. So what does that mean? Burn patches. So I'm not going to be worrying about that one. This is all about the front lawn. This is it. And you can see it and you're looking at it and you're going, Sam, that's really nice and green already. What are you doing? I know. But this is the sort of main reason why and why I'm doing it. And the overall lawn looks great. I'm really happy with it. And if this was the starting point and all the videos that have came through so far has been how to get the lawn to this level, you know, at this start of the season so that you're already one step ahead. My problem is these areas. Okay, see all this sort of fog grass, all these, these slightly thicker blades that you can see. Well, these are thicker blades and what happens is they lie lateral. And if I take you over to some of the bigger spots over here, like you can see in here, they lie lateral. And what you get is when you pull them up, they've got very prominent sort of, try and get some there. The crowns of the plant are very, very bright. So what happens is if it does get left for any length of time, then when you do cut down on them, you can really see it against the rest of the lawn, especially when you've got a healthy lawn. So that is the reason why I'm killing them off. So you've got a patch here, another big patch there, a couple of patches here, and it just spreads through the lawn. As well as this, there's a few dips in the lawn. So I really just want to increase the level and sort of make it a lot more finer than what it currently looks. Right then, so again, now that we're starting, there's a few things that you need to make sure that you're aware of. PPE, have some form of wellies on. You want long sleeved top and bottoms and some form of iPro and gloves for sure. This is something that you definitely don't want to be getting. So if on your hands, take them in the house. And if you've got pets, keep them out. So it's about sort of half six now. I have got a watch on, so I don't know why I'm looking at my wrist. But um, it's about half six now. So I've chucked the cats in the house. They're locked in for the night, unfortunately. But what I'm gonna do is, they've been out in the sun all day. And I'm gonna spray this now that they're locked in the house. And then they should be fine to go on it again tomorrow. So all you wanna make sure is that you put it down with no rain or anything like that coming in within the next six hours um, and that it's just basically dry and it's left to dry on the leaf and that's gonna help it kill. This sort of thing you're expecting to uh, sort of take around about three weeks, like I say, you don't really wanna be touching it before then. So Roundup on this product in particular, this is just something you can get off the shelf. It is, if I just look on this label here, for lawn destruction, it is 40 mil of product kills off 30 meter squared and you just need enough water to cover the area so on this because mine's about 50 i am gonna just ensure that i'm doing it so i'm gonna use 80 ml product and that should cover 60 squ uh, meter squared i've got about 50 so i'm gonna be slightly above but what that'll do is it'll leave some of the tank so that i can spray off the gravel and the puffs everything else just after so in fact i'll round that up out of ease i'll go 100 mil here so, 100 mil. I've got 50 meters squared. So for me, somewhere around five liters would probably be enough. So I'm just gonna fill this up now to about two and a half liters, add in the roundup, add in the other two and a half liters, and that should see us through. Thank you. 
One thing that you really need to remember when you're doing this is you need to pick a day where it's not windy. You don't want to get any spray drift and for it to go sort of onto plants and other things. So it needs to be nice and dry and also very little to next to no wind is your best conditions. Also another thing that you don't want to do is you do, after you've been spraying and you've been walking that lawn, I know it sounds obvious, but you then don't want to be walking on your fresh green lawn that you're not killing off or across borders or anything else because you will transfer sort of the roundup and you could kill other areas. So once you've been, just watch what you're doing, kick your shoes off before you get in the house. Just another great tip to bear in mind when you're doing this sort of thing. So if you've seen my last video, you would have seen that I've got a new sprayer. You can use the same sprayer and just ensure that it's rinsed out. But for me personally, because I've got an old one, it would just be smart to use a different knapsack. So I'm going to use a different knapsack today. Um, what is just this nice and old one. That means that I don't really mind too much if there's any residue left in it because all I'm going to do is just use this from now on for the sort of weed killers, things like that. And for any fertilizers or iron sulfate, I'll then use a new sprayer. That's why one of the reasons why I hit this knapsack. <laughs> right, so here we go, no stopping us now. Look, you'd like to say that nothing ever goes wrong. These cheaper knapsacks like here, right, the bit comes undone and it makes you fiddle with a handle. And it's typical. Right then, and that is us. So, sprayed down there at the rates that we said. As you can see, I've done all the spray, uh, all the gaps between the curbs because through all the overseed and everything, these do get grass growing through them. So, hopefully, this is a chance for all that to die off. But that's it. The last look of probably a healthy green lawn for probably the next seven, eight weeks. So, anyway, thank you very much for joining me on this. Any questions, stick in them in that uh, comment box right below. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. It's a massive help and I do appreciate it. So yeah, that's us now. Next part will be three weeks time where we revisit and we scarify and air it. So look out for that video as well. And I'll take you through the whole process and tell you everything you need to know. Anyway, take care and see you in next week's video.